Hi, in this video, we are going to create what you're seeing on the screen right now. This is using the ES6 standard in JavaScript and it's using the P5 library in instance mode. Really easy when you get how you're going to use it. I'll show you. Let's jump into it. Let's modulize. In the index, instead of having a sketch, let's do a main. And in this, we're going to make a new one, main.js, and save. Now we have the main file, and nothing is in here. In the index, let's create some diffs. Let's call one red. Yeah. And another one we'll call gray. Third one we'll call green. Why we're going to use these, I'll show you in, an, in a minute. We'll save these. The sketch we're going to rename. Let's call it all in diff. Just to call it something. And this is going to be different. We're still going to have the ball. So, but we're going to do export default class and we'll call it ball in diff. And it's going to have a constructor. We're going to move. All of this into the constructor. In this, we're gonna take some values. We're gonna take a canvas width, a canvas height, could do a background color. And we want a ball size. See? So here we have canvas width, canvas height, with the ball size, the background color. Let's save that. Oh, and we need one more thing. Because in here, in the P5, after the function, this all this function is a parameter, an argument we are sending into the P5 instance. And the P5 instance can take two arguments. One, which is what is highlighted right now, and also a diff that would be the standard container where it puts everything. So we can do this and for example call it diff. And let's say take it this here. This means now that we can include this not in the ball but in the main. Let's say import from And here we can say new. And say a canvas width, let's say 400 times 400. A background color. Let's start with the dark gray. And a ball size 20. And then the diff, and that was the gray one. Let's see what happens. We have, we have a mistake of some kind. Let's see what it is. Reference ball is not defined. And it's ball in diff, it's not defined. Import ball from ball. Oh, here, we need to let ball. There we go. Let's make a new one. 
in here. And let's say that has to be in the gray, no, in the red, and we also want to make it red. Make it smaller if we want. Let's see what happens. Oopsie. And here's the thing. The red one is above the gray one. Because if we go into index HTML, the red one is above the gray one here. We could change this. Say this should be in the red and this should be in the green. And we'll change. Let's make another one. Just to see if we can change it even more. Let's make this green. And we actually want the red one in the red. We want this in the gray. Let's see what happens. There we go. A bit large. Something wrong, isn't there? It's doing 400 times 400. Let's go in here. Oh, we use the canvas with both places. It's the canvas height. There we go. And we can move these if we want. Let's say this. we want this in the green one, and this one in the gray instead. We'll move them around. This is just one example of how to use it. You can use it in any other way you would like. Maybe you want to combine it with some CSS grids where you can put it anywhere. It's all up to you how you want to use it. I hope you could use the, what you saw in the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button. If you would like to see more in the future, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching and have an awesome day.